It's a program called Dream Builders that we travel around the country with. This is going to be session one of three. After the third session, we're going to bring in community members for you to talk about your dream with. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you some skills to make that realistic. Girls, I want to ask the ladies a question first. What's the hardest part about being a high school student in 2020? The hardest part for me is like getting all the work turned in. Like there's like a lot of work we gotta do now. Is that just for you because you take like amazing classes or just an average high school student has lots of work? I take like classes, so AP yeah. IB classes, honors classes, yeah, all that I, good stuff. IB. IB? Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is a guy question. If everybody knows what they want in life, how come some people get the life they want and some people don't? You have the people that do the work okay. and the people that won't. Raise your hand if you agree with that. Somebody tell me what vision is. What is vision? Vision is just like where you see yourself and like what motivates you to like wake up in the morning. What you see yourself doing in the future or what you plan on doing or how you're going to get there. That's what you envision. How many people don't believe that you can create, you can envision a dream through social media and accomplish it through social media? Can somebody real quick tell me how, how that's possible? People who see Instagram as their job, you know, they work right. through social media, that's how they get paid. So for the first 30 seconds, we're going to draw that dream. Whatever your dream is, in 30 seconds, you're going to draw the dream. For the next 30 seconds, we're going to caption it. So whatever your caption is, and make sure your caption is describing your dream. And then hashtag it. How would I be able to find your dream if I go pick up Instagram? Then it says, who would you want to comment on your post? So you're going to write three usernames. It don't have to be the exact username, but you're going to write in these boxes who you believe can help you accomplish those dreams. And it doesn't have to be your parents. I drew money because I want to be a billionaire. Um, I also drew like a plaque because I want to be a justice like for the Supreme Court um, and a book because I want to go to law school. I did a quote <laughs> from The Weeknd from his song Heartless because like that's my favorite artist. And it's like never need a, I'm what I need. So how many times have you put that quote on real Instagram? Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then for my um, hashtag, I put Black Excellence. Let me get somebody to tell me how it felt even writing the things out. Oh, the fact that I can speak my mind by being a journalist and also being an entrepreneur and having that boss mentality as a black man. Your vision should be three things. Say it with me. Everybody say big. Big. Unrealistic. Unrealistic. And help others. Help others. So right here in the reflection, I want you to just write, my vision is big because. So where it says big, write what's big about your vision because it's important. The reason that we do it this way because there's gonna be times between now, the next month, the next year, the next two years, it's gonna be times when you question if it's really possible. I want you to be able to go back to this booklet and be like, yo, this is why I'm doing that. Secondly, I want you to write what's unrealistic about it. And then lastly, I want you to put how it will help others. I'm Marquise Moss and I will be a game designer. I will be the CEO of the greatest gaming company. I will teach people that the impossible is possible. I am Kelsey Perry. I will be an animator. I will work on the best and most successful movies, TV shows, and games. I will invest money into animals and the environment. I am Fabian Korea. I will be a custom clothing designer that will customize all types of clothing and start a new wave. Uh, my biggest takeaway today was that no matter how big your goal seems, or how big you want to make it in life, you can always achieve it if you try. My biggest takeaway today was don't let the next person work as hard as you. Like, always outdo yourself. The first I want to be tomorrow. The first I want to be tomorrow. I got to start being that person today. I got to start being that person today. The first I want to be tomorrow. The first I want to be tomorrow. I got to work like that person today. I got to work like that person today. I'm going to be small. I'm going to be small. I am that person. I am that person. Okay.